drunken sailor. What do we do with a drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Hey, hey, and up she rises. Hey, hey, and up she rises. Hey, hey, and up she rises. Early in the morning. Arr, dreamers and make-believers. In today's video, I'm doing the scallywag pirates book tag. Actually, I think it's just called the Scallywag book tag, but I just want to throw in pirates. And I decided to do this tag today because, as you all know, I'm working on the Ashes of Legends series, and the second book in the series will contain pirates. So getting in the mood for my writing of book two of the Ashes of Legends series, I thought I would do the Scallywag book tag. The first question we have to is, is all hands on deck. Pick three characters to go along with you and your crew. So, if I was going to put together a pirate crew, I would definitely, first of all, want Percy Jackson, because who better than the son of the god of the seas to be with me on a ship? He can control the sea, so it helps to have him on my crew. Secondly, I would love to have Rasand, and this, as you all know, is because I love Rasand, so of course I want him with me, plus he is incredibly powerful and incredibly strong, and he can fly. And the third crew member that I would like to have would be Inej from Six of Crows because, again, as you all know, I really do love Inej. Plus, her dream is to be the leader of a pirate crew and to have ships and stuff like that. So, yeah, I would love to have Inej, Percy Jackson, and Rasad. Oh my gosh, that would be so much fun. Question two, me hearties, is open waters. Something's lurking beneath your ship. Name a fictional creature that you would not want to meet. So I am a super, super big wuss. I love creatures, I love odd things lurking around the corners, but of course I just love them in the books. To be actually under my ship, I would be freaking out at probably every single creature, even a fly. But I would say the creature that I wouldn't want to meet and the spirit of piratemanship. I don't want to meet the Kraken because that thing is just hideous and huge and has so many tentacles and can get so many of us. I mean, there's only four of us in this ship, so, you know, it's easy for him. We're child's play. No, I mean, I don't want to meet any creature, if, if preferable, you know, unless it's like a unicorn or something. But I don't want to meet the Kraken on my ship. No Krakens allowed. <laughs> Question three is Siren Song. You hear the song sirening you with love. Name a book you didn't know you needed until you read it. That for me is a book I read recently. I knew nothing about it. I just knew that I heard a lot about the author V.E. Schwab and I really wanted to give her work a try. So I picked up this Savage Song when I saw it around and I was like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna read it. And I actually loved it. I was on the edge of my seat. I was so excited. I could not get enough of it. I could not put it down. And just recently I bought our Doc Duet, which I was actually searching around America for, but I finally found it in my own bookstore when I got back home, which was amazing. I was so excited. So yeah, this is a book that I never knew I needed until I read it and then I was like oh my gosh I, I can't believe this series was not in my life I can't wait to read our dog duet and all other books written by V.E. Schwab because I've heard that they're just as good. Question four is parlay. Your crew has been captured. Yeek. Name a famous villain that you are thrilled and yet slightly terrified to meet. There are so many villains that I am really thrilled to meet but one villain that I would say I would be like ah! But then I'm like, oh my god, it's the villain, we're all gonna die. That, for me, I would say would be Voldemort. He is one of my all-time favorite villains. I just love him. He was very misunderstood, and then of course he just went psycho. But he was misunderstood at first. And he didn't have much growing up, and you know, he had a hard life. But he is insane! So I would be so excited, I mean, I'm meeting Voldemort, oh my goodness! But I would be terrified because he is going to rip me to shreds and all of my muggle friends. I mean, maybe, maybe he'd spare Percy Jackson because he's like the son of a god, but I doubt it because he's just a demigod. So that's, you know, that probably won't be good enough for Voldemort. So we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die! Question five is Davy Jones Locker. Now question five actually has two options. One is one of your crew members has died. <laughs> Name a book that provides a unique outlook on death or choose a crew member to kill. Now, I don't want to lose my crew members, that's very sad, although I can't actually think of a book that I've read that has a unique outlook on death, so I'm gonna have to choose somebody to kill, which is very, very sad. I think that the person to die would be Percy Jackson, simply because 
he is a demigod. So I feel like when he dies, he's not dead. He's just going to go and be with his dad and, you know, do godly things. I mean, he's halfway there anyway, right? So I'm going to just let him go. I'm going to let him go. Question six. Yo ho ho. You meet a fellow pirate at the club. Or a pub, not a club, because they don't go clubbing. <laughs> you meet a fellow pirate at a pub. Recommend a pirate related book. Now, something that I realized lately is that I have not read enough pirate related books. One pirate crew that I do love, and Pirate King, and yada yada yada, is from the Grisha trilogy, which is Nikolai when he pretends to be Sturmond. Yeah. I love Sturman's pirate crew, out of all the pirate related books that I've read so far in my life. Question 7. X marks the spot. You found the treasure. What is one fictional item that you would love to have? This is possibly the hardest question for me in this tag. I just love fictional things and I want all the things, all the things, all the treasure is mine. But if I had to choose one fictional thing, um, I would say Newt Scamander's briefcase because you can go in it and that's just so cool. You can carry around everything you own and it's not heavy and then all my clothes and all my things and all the creatures would be in it and I can put people in it. I can take people with you know you know when you want to go on holiday with somebody and you're like oh put me in your suitcase. I can actually do that with Newt Scamander's suitcase. So yes. That is what I want. If I have to have one treasure of the fictional world, I think that is what I want. And those are all the fun, fantastic questions of this Gallywag book tag, and I tag you guys to do it too. Until next time, I'll see you. Bye!